Hey guys, this is Curtis Alexander. I'm a pharmacist. In this video, we're going to be talking about can magnesium help with migraines? Uh, so I'm going to hop right into it. So first of all, we do have some evidence in the form of studies and we have evidence from people who've used it personally and given us feedback. So what we see is that it, we do believe it's helpful for prevention. It's not helpful for if you have a migraine and you need help right now. It's helpful if you take it long term and it can it can prevent a migraine but what we know is that low magnesium does appear to play a role uh, with some migraine sufferers the other thing we've seen is good results with people using migraine for pain uh, and we believe there may be a role with magnesium in vasoconstriction and of course vasoconstriction is a key component we believe in causing migraines so all evidence points to yes, uh, it is good for preventing migraines. Okay, so are there certain types of migraines, certain situations where magnesium may work better than others? Yes. Um, we believe it would be very helpful for PMS migraines in women. Uh, you know, some women two, three, four, up to a week before their period start having these migraines. Uh, also migraines with aura, bright flashing light, and not necessarily flashing, but they can have these auras. So uh, pretty good feedback on those two types of migraines. Now, this is where the water gets a little muddy. Is there, there's all sorts of salt forms of magnesium available. So what I mean by that, you have magnesium oxide. Magnesium is chemically attached to oxide. There's magnesium carbonate, magnesium glycinate. So these are, different salt forms. Now why that's important is because for example with magnesium oxide it has a good amount of magnesium available in the molecule. The problem is is because of the bonds that are created when it comes into the body very little is absorbed. Like magnesium oxide we believe it's only 4% absorption. Um, and, and going back to magnesium oxide as far as, as the dosage goes um, they're thinking four to 600 milligrams a day. But again, because the absorption is so low on it, you are going to have to experiment depending on the type of magnesium you have available. The nice thing about magnesium oxide, it's cheap, it's readily available. You could walk into any supplement store and they'll probably have magnesium oxide. But again, the poor absorption is a knock against magnesium oxide. Wouldn't be my personal choice. If that's what you have available, use it. But I would move to one of the other two salt forms uh, that I like and that I've heard good feedback on. The first one being, pardon me, magnesium carbonate. I've talked before about a product I've used personally before called Vitality Calm. I'll put a link to it in the description. Um, very good product. It's I use the powder. It's an effervescent powder. You just drop it in water before I go to bed and I'll take that to help with sleep. Um, so it's magnesium carbonate. It doesn't have as much magnesium in the molecule itself, elemental magnesium, but it has a better absorption rate at around 23% of it being absorbed. The, pr the problem, and you have to be careful with it, is magnesium can cause a laxative effect in the body. Now, at the doses that you see magnesium carbonate, which, you know, it's usually around 325 milligrams, uh, shouldn't have any issues. It's just something to be aware of. You want to be careful with it. Um, the other one and the one I'm currently taking now, I don't have migraines, but I have experience with these products. Uh, the salt form I'm using right now and experimenting with is magnesium glycinate. Um, I looked at some different products. I'll put a link to the one I'm currently using. I do like it. It's in capsule form, really easy to take. Um, the plus with magnesium glycinate a, people have really good results as far as magnesium supplements go. It seems to be very effective, um, whether we're talking for sleep and relaxation or whether we're talking for migraines, uh, but it has good absorption as well. So I think magnesium carbonate, magnesium glycinate would be good options for you. Um, it is a little more expensive, but I didn't find it, uh, you know, crazy or anything. It's just a, a little more money. I do think it's very good salt form. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things you have to take into consideration should you and your doctor choose to try magnesium. One of which is that remember, magnesium interacts with other compounds in your body, namely calcium and zinc. We have this balancing act 
magnesium's up, calcium and zinc can go down and vice versa. So it's something to keep in mind that if you're taking calcium, um, you'll want to take that into consideration. They affect each other. We already talked about side effects, um, one of which is potentially loose stool or the laxative effect. Uh, drowsiness, and this is why a lot of people use it. It's not really drowsiness. Magnesium can almost have a calming effect or um, it's great for people with anxiety, particularly when they go to bed. So I call it a side effect, but in a way it's kind of not a side effect. Um, it is okay to take in pregnancy. Again, um, a lot of migraines occur in women. So if you're pregnant, mag magnesium has a class A pregnancy rating, which is as safe as you can get. Um, obviously, you got to run that by your doctor. I'm just throwing that out there. Okay. So my overall thoughts on magnesium, if you're taking it to prevent migraines, I think it's a really good first option. It's safe. It's not expensive, um, readily available. Uh, the downside is it takes some time to work. But if you're going to use some of the other preventative prescription medications, they don't start working right away either. They're used to prevent things, so it takes a while for them to start working. And you do have to watch it with other supplements. I, I say this all the time, and I mean it. Um, just because something is a natural substance, a supplement, doesn't mean it doesn't come without potential side effects, interactions, those sorts of things. Uh, Magnesium is no different. But yeah, I think it's a really good option if you're looking for something natural to try to prevent migraines. So uh, in the comments, let me know, have you used magnesium for migraines? Was it helpful? It's, it's helpful for me. It's helpful for other people who watch the video to learn from your experience. It's kind of like our hive mind. So I appreciate you chiming in if you've tried it. I hope the video was helpful and I will see you in the next one. Thanks.